I'm Zainab Cholak. I'm a third year architecture student at TED University. I am coming from Istanbul, but currently living in Ankara, Turkey. I am also a plastic artist focused on sculpture and painting. I have been participated in several competitions involving arts and architecture, and my works have been featured in several exhibitions in the recent years. And I also have several projects coming up in the future. Michelangelo said when he looked at the raw marble, he saw a figure struggling to be free. I think how we perceive design in general is based on how we perceive our surrounding. One can see a machine which perfectly functions. I see a living organism that perfectly functions. I think that good design comes from the nature, from the living. So it should look alive, it should feel alive, whether it's an object or a space. Therefore, in my works, at their simplest level, I try to unite these two worldviews, machine and organism, synthetic and organic, my left brain and right brain. When was announced, I felt the honor of banking crowd who knew I had the potential. My instructors, my family, my friends. I've always wanted to be an inspiring artist and an architect in my field. Therefore, I felt really proud for the girl who wanted to accomplish so many big things. Because now, she's on the right track. And I'm really appreciated to be participated in such an inspiring project. And I'm really looking forward for the future. I think that arts and architecture can co-create something which is almost a third thing. We should not be trying to separate artist and architect. On the contrary, they should collaborate to use both fields in order to create something that is even stronger than both fields can do separately. What made the Renaissance artists so successful was they educated themselves in all fields of plastic arts sculpture, painting, architecture, without discriminating. Therefore, the end result was something very unique, very dynamic and lively. They had the ability to reflect the reality of nature in three dimensions. This was my goal, and it still is. from a family that has any relationship with architecture, in fact, with any fields of art at all. But I've always felt the urge to create ever since I can remember. Even in my early days as a kid, I've always been fascinated by the idea of designing and creating. Therefore, it wasn't a hard decision for me to want to be an architect. But I wasn't specifically sure about studying architecture. So when I was preparing my artistic portfolio for the university applications, me and my tutor discovered that my works have been architecturally inclined. And after getting some arts and architecture history lessons, I knew I didn't have any other options. So. I was actually gradually drowning to architecture. Thank you.